Welcome to this uh, series of videos on System Center Service Manager. In this uh, set of videos, we're going to look at the automation part of Service Manager. I'm going to do these videos differently to my previous videos. In the previous videos, I've created a whole learning set from beginning to end, uh, edited them all and published them all in one go. In this, this kind of video is going to be a bit different. What we're going to do is we're going to do a real deep dive into lots of aspects of Service Manager, the orchestrator, uh, the SDK, um, and what we're going to do is we're going to like develop this as we go along. And so this is not going to be one of those usual YouTube videos that show you a nice beginning to end um, solution that in the real world has no impact. What we're going to do is we're going to look at the kind of things that change us in the real world. I'm actually going to develop this solution for um, a real business as we go along. So with that in mind, I'm going to create a, a number of videos to start with that are just going to cover the real basics. These are the same kind of videos you can find in loads of different places on YouTube. These are videos that are just going to show you the, the bare basics on what Orchestrator is, how to create a, a, a very simple automation from beginning to end. Now I want to do that to make sure that we're all on the same wavelength, that we've got everything configured in the same way. As we go forward, I'm going to take the aspects that we've done in the first video, the kind of the basic stuff, and really expand it and deep dive into the authoring of management packs and uh, how we can like write integration packs to different systems that it's not originally designed for and really get the most out of this. So I'm going to put together maybe five to six videos covering the basics before I'm then going to start going into doing very specific deep dive elements every two to three weeks over the next six months. What I'm going to do is as I develop the videos, I'm going to put up a kind of contents page on my blog shown in the URL below and in the comments. And as I do each video, I'm going to put a little bit of a summary so that you can follow what's going on.